All right, let's watch this bitch. Starts round up here. There we go. Probably watch this and then call it a stream, I think. Won't be a long stream, but it's just a just wanted to get a quick one in before I go hang out with family. Oh hell yeah, more of that game. Oh maybe this is just showing some of the games that they're My name is Kelsey and welcome to our 2023 Annapurna Interactive Showcase. We are so excited to be here and even more thrilled to show you what we have in store for this year. Over the next 30 minutes, we'll share our latest game reveals, spotlight two new developer partnerships, and give an exciting first look at the debut game from our internal development team. Okay. Once again, a huge thank you to our Annapurna community and partners across the globe for your continued support. Let's get started. Laser eye, blur eye, and the fuck. I have been asked to approach you about a project related to events in 1847, 1963, 2014, and one happening in the very near future. At least two individuals in Europe are confirmed to be involved, but ties with several international contractors have been identified. The financing of the venture has been traced to a U.S.-based corporation. You can expect to be contacted by them soon. They will possibly hire an actor to communicate with you through a video. This video is designed to gauge your interest in interpreting patterns. 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 And solving puzzles. 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 Because of the metaphysical aspects related to the project, they may also want to test your receptiveness to unconventional concepts. To gain your trust, this person might offer their unsolicited advice or ask you questions about your dreams and memories, but you will likely never see the face of the person speaking. My personal advice is not to play along with their strange game. You're being led around in a Only maze when of deceptions. Think back on when they first tried to contact you. Do you remember? Do you remember the maze? Do you remember the maze? Do you remember the maze? Yeah, it was amazing. Do you remember the maze? 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 Lorelei and the laser eyes. Copenhagen. Oh, Cocoon.
Earth. Why they go to Perth? For photography, same. Yeah. Oh wow, beautiful landscape. Three gates. Now this takes place in Japan. Earth to Kyoto. M Gates. Hey, look at these graphics. That's it. When I was young, I was in the mountains with my dad. 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 ミツアシアキラです。ひろことと一緒にこのマルミツゲームズをやっています。マルミツゲームズでアーティストをしている椎野ひろこです。ひろことは福岡にあるゲーム会社で出会いました。実は言うとですね、ま、1回告白したんです
The little things, yeah, the little things are hard for me. Oh, I don't know why I am a teen. It's not so bad all the time. It's not so bad. My cute dog helps me out so we can go. And la, 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 la. Stuck in the jacket. Put your arms down. His arms? I, I don't know. They were wearing a sailor fuku before, so I don't know. They're trans. That'd be cool. Flock! Hello, I'm Richard Hogg, and I'm one of the people who made Flock. I'm the art guy. And I'm Pip War. I do the narrative design and some game design. So where are you, Pip? I'll do a call. Ah, oh, there you are. I'm coming over. Flock is a game about exploring a big wild place on the back of a bird. You find creatures, you charm them, and they join your flock. It's also a game where you can just hang out with your friends. Pip, you've got loads in your flock. The boomerang ones are the Cosmits. I have a few varieties. Then I have a Thrip and a Big Henry. He's the one that looks kind of like a cross between a cuttlefish and a sausage. What's that blue creature you've got in your flock? Ah, that's a slumbering rustic. We can go and find one if you like. So we're taking Pip across the grasslands to find her a slumbering rustic for her flock. There's one in here. Can you hear it? It's snoring. Over by this pond in this little cup. I'll have to move slowly so I don't spook it. Maybe we shouldn't wake it up, but... I'm going to charm it. To charm this rustic, Pip has to position herself at just the right distance from it not too close or too far away. And her bird and the flock will sing to the creature to charm it. Look at that. Oh, wow. I'm going it's to like, call her like Cupzilla. Pip, check out my sheep. Look at them, little munchers. In flock, you have some flying sheep to look after. You leave them to graze, they get woolly, and then you use the wool to make clothes. Did I tell you I made a sheep? I crocheted it. Oh, I love it. Look, 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 look. I found one of the fruit things. Oh, yeah. I'm going to charm one. Here we go. It's a sunset sprug. We didn't find it because it wasn't sunset last time. We were looking in broad daylight. I love these frogmouth glebes. They just scream in such a pleasing way. Can you see me over here? Oh, yeah, look at that. Whoosh. I've got my glow buddies with me. This forest is beautiful at this time of day. I really like when you're skimming over the top of the fog and you're sort of going up and down like you're on the high seas. Oh, oh wow. Have you seen these before? No. It's a mother and her little calf. They're singing. Let's join in. <laughs> this has been such a lovely day. Let's do it again soon. Flock, what will you find out there? Okay. Interesting. Los Angeles ghost bike. Wait, ghost bike? A bike that turns into a ghost? Or a ghost that is a bike? Oh, it's one of these games. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm thinking wrong. What's with those 
those windmills? Why are they five star? I mean five wing. Oh, oh shit, this is probably kind of crazy. Okay, well, I'm gonna just mute this because of the music. Though I've probably already gotten like a copyright claim already once in this. But that's fine. It's fine. Uh, pain in the ass, but it's fine. I guess. Uh. <laughs> so my thought was that the biker's actually a ghost, but maybe it's just the little guy in the front. I'm feeling lucky. Right if you're after okay, okay, it has to be. It must be what I think it is then. I don't know. I don't know, man, I'm just guessing. Ghost bike Warwick. Last revolver, eh? Okay. Let's see. Basically every day, if I've hit like a roadblock or if I just need some sort of inspiration to kind of like move on with something, I'll just hop in my car and drive like five minutes over to, to Roger Williams Park. Having like no literal walls, I, I feel like I'm able to think in like a lot more abstract ways. I'm Jacob Williams. I'm the head and creative director of Glass Revolver and we're making We Kill Monsters. I've always been drawn to kind of the outdoors and, and nature in general. The reasons why like certain aspects of nature are the way they are, that had definitely carried over into my first game, Ida, and extremely so in We Kill Monsters. I'd be like sitting like outside the school, like waiting like for my mom to come pick me up. And I would just constantly like sketch way, um, an open that, world uh, where you could like camp and stuff. That actually you can camp in and we kill monsters. It's like a core part of the game. Um, so a lot it's of those like, things kind of stuck It's like uh, DS stuck era with me. Pokemon. Might be a fun I story. went to film school doing like the nine to five and then coming home and then doing another, you know, five, six hours of film related stuff. Eventually, uh, it just became apparent that I was depressed. I realized I was like, something, you know, needs to change. Like, I can't, I can't keep doing this. Okay, well, I'm gonna just basically do like a restart on my adult life. So I moved back home and it was there where I started Ida. This is Ida. This is the, my first game that I had made which honestly probably shares like a lot of DNA with We Kill Monsters. It was probably 2018, I think, where I actually started on We Kill Monsters. But at the time, it was supposed to be an extremely lo-fi Monster Hunter style game. And then at some point, I just, I was like, everything I'm trying to do, I could just do it in 3D and it would like just more fully realize what I'm kind of envisioning oh, in my head. Oh, like, a, like, like Most Hunter? people, rightfully so, were like, or, you've been working no, on this game for a very long time. You shouldn't just switch uh, it to 3D. You're basically just starting over. Oh, you I can didn't barely want to hear me? Oh, work I'm on sorry. the 3D version for like three months and be like, oh, okay, this is like I've too boost much and like go back to the 2D version. So I kind of like Maybe I got a boost. thought yeah, about boost it for more. like a week. Um, and then uh, to make my decision, I, I went and I deleted the 2D project so that I didn't have a choice. Oh, my dude. thought process was if it you takes eight years to make, I'll just do it on my own. Might as well just do what I. I think it's best. This kind of neat, though. <laughs> this symbol this is does basically made its way into all of my games. Mm, let's see. The meaning to me is, uh, you know, it's okay to restart. Yeah, hey, you boost, anyways. Oh, Min Mindon. I'll turn this down just a little bit then, since if it's hard to hear me. Okay, there we go. There's not much left anyways. Like 10 minutes, so, if even that. like a retro style survival horror game maybe hmm oh okay so just coming to everything just the uh, native versions are on uh, ps5 and xbox series x 
Bounty Star, the morse, uh, morose tale of Graveyard Clam. Let's take a look at this one. Dino Guy. Hi, I'm Ben Ruiz, the founder and creative director of Dino God and the designer of Bounty Star. Bounty Star is a game about a broken but powerful ex-soldier, now a bounty hunter, in a post-apocalyptic oh, post post American desert. Neat. Her name is Clem, and she's trying to start a new life in a place far from home, Okay. traumatized from a profound mistake she made at the end of her military career. Mm. One half of the gameplay experience is a third-person action game shooting mechanics in which Clem is bringing in her marks, dead or alive, in her customizable infantry mode. Throughout the experience, the players will obtain all kinds of exciting mech weaponry and utilities and use them against increasingly bigger and badder foes. Imagine if a mech and mech warrior, the game or not mech warrior, sorry. protagonist mech cleans up her life and develops her or, bounty sorry, mech arena. Damn in the it. safety of her newly acquired home it, it, on the edge it, it, of the game. It, it, one of those games. A rundown pre apocalypse gas station and tune up shop with a lot of potential. The player will learn how to be an effective bounty hunter in this scarce and dangerous world in which self-sustaining ways of life are absolutely vital. She will grow and obtain food and use it to cook meals that enhance her focus in different ways. She will obtain scraps we and crafting the materials and use them to build devices that enhance both her personal and combat endeavors. She will befriend and be visited by all manner of characters, all of whom are playing an important role in her current phase of life. Bounty Star is ultimately about a human pushing out inner demons, rebuilding herself and her personal environment, and relearning what it's like to be a force for good in a place that very badly needs it. As a gameplay experience, it is all about engaging, fun, modern action mechanics that many types of players will be able to enjoy, but not without being challenged. Thanks so much for watching. Bounty Star's coming in early 2024. That's kind of neat. I'm kind of interested in that. And it's coming to every... Well, not Switch, but close to everything. It's coming to PS4, though. Montpellier. Ooh, Stray Platform. Okay. I haven't played Stray yet. I need to get it. Aww. My my cat Nico, when he when he snores, he goes. The sound he makes goes. You guys probably can't hear that because it's gonna cut out. But the noise he makes, he goes. He goes. Hmm. Hmm. That's him snoring. It's the most adorable thing. Ever. Play the game. No. Xbox on. Trace coming to Xbox, I guess? I still need to play this game. I need to play Stray. I gotta put it on the list. August 10th for Xbox. Ooh, Xbox One. Maybe it'll be a Game Pass game. Maybe. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Um, Seattle. Thirsty suitors. Those suitors be thirsty. They should maybe drink some water. Still think it's a good idea to go home? Oh, this game. They all hate you, Jala. Can you blame them? You're way too stubborn to just give up. Dad, stop being so sensible. Timber Hills, our hometown. Full of gossiping aunties, parental expectations, and your past mistakes. Hope you're ready for some long delayed emotional catharsis. Oh, God, there's because a Because your mode. exes are looking for revenge. Oh, no. Or maybe a date. Are we flirting or are we fighting? Wait, is this? Why not both? Is this Scott Pilgrim vs. the World? Guys, they're so powerful. So, I have to make up with my first love, 
find out what's going on with the creepy skate cult run by a bear mascot, win my mother's approval, and track down my sister who's avoiding me, all before the most dangerous battle of all. My mother is coming to Timber Hills. The women in your family, they're all terrifying. I'm doomed. Well, that good, Mom. My advice to you, Jala, die young. Remember, second. Acceptable effort. Wait, is that skateboarding dog? Was was that skateboarding dog? Buenos Aires, storyteller. Platform update. Welcome to back back to Storyteller. Storyteller. Oh yeah, this Our game. next chapter brings a free update with all new content. Okay. <laughs> Welcome new characters into the fold. Some full of mischief. Some warm the heart. Puzzle through new scenarios with new challenges. Oh god, Adam and Eve. And while you're at it, add a little chaos into the mix. Explore the possibilities. Unleash your imagination. And it's all coming to Netflix. What? Rejoice! Go right to Netflix. Story I still don't know how that works. Our all new update is coming September 26. So if you have a Netflix subscription, can you play the Netflix games? I don't know how that works. Okay. Game reveal. Okay. This is probably going to be the last reveal because there's only like... Hey everyone, left. my name is Chelsea Hash and I've worked alongside Annapurna for a long time. Starting with What Remains of Edith Finch and later Solar Ash, and now as oh, director okay. of Annapurna's first internally developed game. Over the past year, we've put together a wonderful group of people and have been collaborating on an exciting new project. Mm. I never imagined I'd have a chance to make a game set in this iconic universe, and there's so much more we want to tell you. But for now, we're thrilled to share this announcement trailer. Take a look. Lots of people lost things in the blackout. I was lucky. I just lost the job. But now, they want me back. Ah, Blade Runner 2033. I knew it was Blade Runner related. I was like, is this Blade Runner? I was like, I don't know. I have the Blade Runner films on DVD now. I need to watch them. It's been a while since I saw, I saw the first one a long time ago on cable, and I, it's a blur to me. Thanks again for tuning in to watch this year's Annapurna Interactive Showcase. We hope you enjoyed a glimpse of what's in store. See you all next year. All right. Well, that was Annapurna. That was fun. Some cool stuff. I don't know if that character's going to I'll have to look at it. Well, thanks for showing. 
Um, all right, guys. Well, that's going to have to do it for me. Like I said, this is a short stream today. I've been doing short streams this week because I'm just getting back into the swing of things. Um, I'm good, pr hoping to be back to a regular schedule starting next week because, again, my brother's going home this weekend, uh, so I won't have that anymore as a distraction. Not that it's a bad thing. It's, I was hanging out with him and I love him and whatnot. Uh, but I am uh, going to see him one last time tonight uh, with my family. So I have to get ready for that. So I'm going to have to cut this one short. But hey, this was a lot of fun. Um, we'll get back to our regular scheduled streams next week. Uh, let me find someone to raid. Is that person that I was looking at earlier, are they still going? Let's see. Let's, and let's check my history. Oh god, it gave me an ad. Oh, uh, they're so done, but they're okay. All right, all right. Wait, I got an ad. Okay. Uh, so there's this person I met. Uh, they were on my recommended. They're called Slump Neko. Uh, they're playing Conquer. Conquer's bad for a day. Um, so I think we might go raid her or them. I don't want to assume that. So, anyways, uh, that's what we're gonna do. I uh, just want to wait for the ad to go by to make sure they're not ending or anything. I don't think they are. Okay. Yeah, they're still going. They're playing Conquer. I, they're trying to conquer Conquer, I guess you could say. Uh, okay, so let's do it. So we're going to raid uh, something Echo. Um, guys, if you've been here before, you know the drill. But in case you're new or you just don't know the drill, uh, here is my raid message if you are subbed. However, if you are not subbed, that is okay, because I have a raid message for you as well. It is this one. Uh, you can join my Discord server here. We are making our way through uh, Power Rangers RPM. We're getting close to the end. I think there's only like six episodes left to watch or something like that. I don't know. I don't fully know. Uh, but anyways, you can join there. You can also find my social medias here and my YouTube channels here with new videos that you can find here. One more time, guys. Here's the raid message if you're subbed. If you're not, you can use this one instead. I'll be back on Monday, and I believe on Monday I am doing... Uh, I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing yet, actually. <laughs> so I'll uh, keep you guys posted. Just follow, Just keep an eye on my social media. Keep an eye on my socials. You'll, uh, you won't uh, you'll miss it. Yeah, so. Anyways, guys. Uh, and as, as for usual, take care. Come here and rush these brush. Don't do drugs. Stay in school. Eat your teeth. See you next time on Cheat. Go say hi to Slump Neko for me. Uh, they're adorable, uh, and they like retro games like I do. And they're a cat, like me. I'm a cat. <laughs> All right. All right, see you guys later. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye now. Bye. 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 Bye, hi. Bye, bye, bye. I'm going to unmute now.